Okay, Super Mario Maker 2 was announced like a week or two ago. Here's my review of their trailer. Right off the bat, it is nice that it looks like it's the same physics. Obviously, we can't be sure until we play the game, but it looks the same, so that's good. Also, this guy stopped holding jump, stopped holding run halfway through his jump where he'd have picked up a helmet. What a dumbass. Okay, uh, we actually see a lot of things on this screen. Um, these are all the same. This is like the same sort of hot bar. There's actually like a shit ton of stuff in this trailer. It's very easy to miss like large amounts of things. I've, I've, I've watched it like a dozen times and still see new stuff. Uh, we have some things on the left here, which I'll go into more detail later, later because we don't really know what they are, but some parts of the trailer later give better examples of what they might be. This button here, I'm really hoping is the collaboration button. We don't know, that's speculation, but if it is, that'd be freaking awesome. Uh, let me slow this down. No, not subtitles. Speed, one quarter, okay. So here we get to see some of the interface. We don't know if they're using the touch screen or not, um, but there's like some blocks and stuff up here that you can switch between. Nothing new here. Uh, nothing new here, I think. My eyes are terrible. Play. So in one click they go from enemies to these blocks, which is, which is good. There's a 10 coin, that's new. All that this is, is when you pick it up, you get 10 coins. That's all it is. Um, nothing new here. Nothing new here. And then in another click we get to the terrain from the blocks. And here we have two different kinds of slopes. There's the one by one slopes and the one by two slopes. Over here we have on-off switches. This here is the on-off block, the actual block that turns on and off. And this, we don't know what it is. It might be the SMW throw block. It might be something else. We're not really sure. All right, let's beat it back up. Actually, you can go to like double speed. Oh, wait, wait, we missed something really important. Who's, who knows what we missed? This is view mode. I have no idea what this is, but when they click play, it zooms out and goes to view mode. I don't know, I like... That'd be really awesome if there's a view mode for levels, <laughs> you know? It'd be really cool, but I don't really know what view mode is or why it showed up when they click play, but that would be very cool if they added some sort of view mode for levels. Oh, actually, you know what? I should count that. Um, let's go speed 0.25. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh. Come into view mode. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh. Oh, God damn it! I want to count. How high is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it looks like it's the same height as a Mario Maker One level, twenty-six blocks. So that's a good sign. Okay, back to normal speed. Let's go. And here. We have the only bomb in the entire trailer. Uh, these guys are awesome. These like whirlwindy dudes that push you upwards. There's it's just like the single most amazing thing for troll levels ever. And it's like, there's a checkpoint right here, and you jump down to get it, and suddenly you're just hovering and can't get the checkpoint because there's one of these assholes that appeared. Like, it's gonna be so amazing. As far as the verticality that they show in the trailer, we don't really get confirmation that this is a vertical level. It just kind of looks like it would be, but we won't know till we play the game if there's actually vertical levels that go more than 26 blocks up. 
Big platform, angry sun, these like snake blocks where you get to choose the path are really awesome. They, they look real nice. Um, let's see, we still don't get any new stuff over here or any new stuff up here. It's nice if we get like a snow theme, that'll be nice. But yeah, these ones that just follow the path just open up so many possibilities. Hey, there's water that moves up and down. And the fish that jump out of the water is also pretty cool. We don't know exactly how the fish are going to behave. Like, what if you place a fish super far down in the water? What does it do? But, you know, the scrolling water is going to be good. Um, this screen. So this button here, you can see it's on now. This is most likely the auto-scroll button and auto-scroll controls. Probably. And then this one that's on also... We don't know exactly what this is, but you could set some 50 coin thing, and most likely this is something where you have to collect 50 coins before you can beat the level, or have to collect 50 points, coins before you unlock the checkpoint. It's probably something like that. Um, also, I think this is the only time we see SMB1 in the trailer, so, you know, we got that one. Um, custom scroll so it could be there's a difference between auto scroll and custom scroll also but yeah we see here it says custom scroll and you can control where the camera goes which is just gonna be the trolliest thing ever when like the camera is way up here and Mario's running on the bottom of the screen and something just pops up from the bottom of the screen and hits you and it's like oh you didn't get to see because I effed with your camera but that'll be funny Oh, back up, back up. Uh, we're gonna go through this at 0.25 because we see some new stuff. First of all, Super Mario 3D World is cool. Um, here, instead of having the cape or the propeller hat, we have the cat power up in SM 3D World. And here, we see there are gonna be some unique enemies, like this blue fish from 3D World is just, it's like a blooper. Or no, the blooper's here. What is this in the other themes? I don't even know what this is. This is what you get instead of a wiggler, is like, blue dude. I don't know what this one is in the other themes. Also, the music just sounds ridiculous when you slow it down. But yeah, the enemies also, oh wait, wait is it on this screen? Yeah, yeah, go back. Yeah, here, when he's placing the piranha plant, you see this drop-down window show up. This is their new interface for, like, if you want a large piranha plant, a flying piranha plant, a piranha plant with a parachute. The parachute's new, and of course if you want one that just tries to eat you or one that shoots fire. So this is their new interface. I imagine it's the same for things like a note block, whether it's just the bouncy one or the musical note block, stuff like that. I think this is also the only time in the trailer where we see 500 seconds here. For some reason, all the rest of the trailer is 300 second levels. Maybe coincidence, who knows. Good music. Okay. And you're a cat. You can climb walls. And this enemy, this enemy that that you like drag the trail i really hope you can spin jump off of this dude that would be so amazing that'd be so awesome if you can spin jump off of this dude this block we don't really see it does you can actually if we back up and go to uh, one quarter speed it does start out as just this block and this one to the right doesn't come out until you hit this. So it starts out as just that one block. And then it just keeps going up, I guess. Uh, the clear pipes are awesome. Um, we see you can travel, well, we don't actually see Mario traveling through them, but we see the shots from the fire traveling through them. We see enemies traveling through them. I forget if we see coins. Bullet bills in the background, that's cool. Also, if you look closely right at the end, you do actually climb on that grate. I can't, yeah, you do actually climb on the grate, so confirmed we got climbing grates, not just aesthetic. The rocking platform's cool, but also we see what the 10 coin looks like down here. 
Uh, here we see the red pipe, and some people have speculated that this red pipe actually shoots stuff out faster than a green pipe. It's sort of hard to confirm, because this is also shooting out enemies with a parachute, so maybe just parachute things get shot out faster, because they need to move somewhere to parachute. We don't really know. That'd be cool if we had a pipe that shoots something out at a different speed. Also, it's another level that looks more vertical, but again, it's a bit hard to confirm. I like what the background looks like. The, like, bluish tent is cool. Uh, here we get a new theme with some poison and Bowser sucks. This scene has a new boss, Boom Boom, and actually here, this bullet bill appears to have just come from nowhere. We don't see the cannon that shot this bullet bill, which really excites me, because if you can just place a bullet bill, It'll just spawn when it, whenever you, like, you know, it'll just, when you get close enough, just a bullet bill spawns. That's something I've wanted for a while, so that would be really cool if that's what this is. And this is just, like, the large bullet bill. Yep. And coming in June.